activity tracker. So it's the Apple Watch Fitbit Whoop and something I got two years ago that you guys have nonstop asked about, my Aurora Ring. The future of health is not a thing that tracks your heart rate night and day, that gives you the most accurate sleep data, that knows when you might be feeling unwell even before you do. I'm gonna bring you guys through a review. I'm gonna explain how I use it, the pros, the cons, compare it to the Apple Watch. Is it worth it? Is it even an activity tracker? What the hell is it? Kim Kardashian's posted about it. Celebrities are obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. Here's what it is. So Aurora Ring, like your Apple Watch, is gonna track your activity, calories, your steps. But what is it? It is less of an activity tracker and more of a recovery tracker. Its main focus, is your recovery score every day, your sleep score, and then you also have an activity score. So every day I get out of bed and like every health person tells us is really good, look at my phone. But what do I look at? My sleep score. You have your readiness, your sleep score, your activity. Your sleep score, it's gonna tell you how many hours you're in bed, how many hours you're asleep, and most importantly, the type of sleep you have. So you have your light sleep, which is kind of your crap sleep, your REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement, which is where your creativity, that's where all my ideas come from and then your deep sleep, which I think is very restorative sleep. That's where your muscles recovery, your body resets, body and mind. That was a really basic term, but that's what it monitors. Then recovery. <sighs> recovery isn't just stretching, doms, getting a massage. It also tests your readiness. So what that means. What that means. What that means. This is gonna track your HRV, your heart rate variability, your body temperature, your recovery index, your sleep, sleep balance, resting heart rate, and it's gonna kind of give you a recovery score every day. It's gonna tell you if you're overtraining, if you're undersleeping, and it's even, and I've seen this, will tell you if you're sick. Now, if it's kind of brewing, like your heart rate's starting to elevate, your body temperature is going up, so it can kind of be a warning like a cold could be coming. Is it 100% proof? No. But what it does tell you is when you drank the night before, because every night, I've gone on drinking the next day, it is in red. And that's how I know this thing is accurate because I don't tell it I drink, but it knows when I've drank. And then activity, we'll get to that, but I'm gonna answer some of your guys' questions. Let's talk the most important part, wearing it, because if you hate wearing it, you're never gonna wear it, there's no point wasting your money. First, this is how it looks. Ooh. I got the gold one because, golden doodle. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Does it feel bulky? No, it is actually super light. If I had to compare, all my rings, this is obviously gonna be the lightest, but I'd say these weigh about the same. This one, cause this is solid gold, actually weighs more than this one. So it is super light. I think the first month I got it, I noticed it, but now I just, I don't, I literally don't notice it's there. What sizing? When you buy one, they're gonna send you this sizing ring. You just gotta try on the size you want and then you send them a message. You're like, I'm a seven, bitch. And they'll send you seven. So how waterproof is it? Completely. I literally never take it off. This can, you can go swimming in it. Speaking of water. Lucy, Lucy. Can you drink some water? Go drink some water. Everyone, just go drink some water. I'm worried about your hydration. As for durability, I'm gonna show you my old one because this is brand new. I've only had, this is a generation three. I had the generation two for two years. Uh, some people ask me if I'm selling it or not and I won't be selling it or getting rid of it because of the exact reason I got it in the first place. It was a gift from my boyfriend. So it's kind of sentimental, I know. Gross, mom, and where did I put it? So I used to have the silver and you can see it is scratched up, but this is two years of working out and not treating it nicely. That's how scratched it was. Whereas you can see like the difference. It will get scratched, but I don't know. It was fine by me. Like I didn't really notice the scratching and for like two years of use, I cannot complain about that. Does it stay on? Like <laughs> you can, but as long as you get the right size and I got a size that is just a little tricky to get off, but I can pop it on and off easy. And like I said, it's not coming off unless I pull it. But in terms of weightlifting, do I wear it when I weight lift? I actually do most of the times. I don't notice it. When I'm just doing barbell stuff, like where my hand's staying stationary. Deadlifts is when it starts to get a little tricky. I find the only time I really take it off is like stuff like cleans. Think of where I actually have to move the barbell in my hand. Sometimes kettlebells, but I find kettlebells aren't rough. They're quite smooth, so it doesn't annoy me. And obviously all the scratches that are on here for the most part are from barbells. Okay, workouts is where we start to compare it to in the Apple Watch. Now this is where it kinda does start to not to be 
as all encompassing. There's no way to just like start and end a workout. There's nothing like that. What you can do is you can go in, press workout, and it's gonna kind of calculate with an equation with your body weight, size, gender to a workout. So you can add it in, but it's not gonna track your workout. If you do have an Apple Watch and you track the workout, it will appear in your Roar Ring app. So they are kind of complimentary in that sense. Also, someone asked if you wear it on a specific finger. I've read it's better and more accurate on your pointer finger, but I, I think it's just a preference. Like um, maybe it's a wedding gift. I don't know. You know what, people are into weird things these days. Speaking of technology, it does link to your Apple Health, so you'll see your sleep score there. Battery life, they usually once a week, I put it on the charger and I come back a couple hours later and it's charged, it will give you a warning. That is a nice thing, it only takes one time to charge versus every night you gotta try charge your Apple Watch. Gen 2 versus Gen 3. You can't purchase the Gen 2 anywhere. You can only purchase the Gen 3, but if someone's thinking of upgrading, I haven't really noticed a difference. The only difference really is you can track your heart rate in real time now. So I can be like, oh, what's my heart rate? And it will tell me versus before it was just like an overall average. I do find it's a little bit more accurate. Something about my deep and REM sleep just feels more accurate versus before. Just being 100% honest, the main reason I got the new one so it matched the rest of my jewelry because that is what I like about this like it doesn't really look like an activity tracker like Apple watch you wear at the bar or something it's like okay you're the person wearing the Apple watch come on you're off duties but when you wear this no one really notices it just looks like a really fat ring so I I got it for pure aesthetic reasons but on the note of Apple watch and why you might wear it at the bar is like competing with people I get that like your friends are watching you're wearing it at all times no movement goals can go unnoticed that is the downside of the Aurora ring there's no like community feel which I kind of don't like like me and my boyfriend constantly send our sleep scores back and forth that is what Fitbit is honestly out of all of them Fitbit is my least favorite we'll talk about that at the end compare them all but the one thing Fitbit does is it has like a community aspect which I think the other activity trackers could learn from how much does it cost now I love you all I'm gonna go look on how much it costs but if you're smart enough to respond to the Instagram story can you not Google? <laughs> like, I love y'all. I'm gonna tell you how much it costs because I know you're like, well, I don't know with all the I know. So the regular black, the silver, 299 USD. If you want the stealth, which is matte black, that's what my boyfriend has, that's gonna be 399 USD. And you do now have to pay an Aurora membership, which the first six months is free, then it comes 699. The sizing kit is free, but for my Gen 2 people, I believe you get a free lifetime membership. So I have a free lifetime membership. Uh, otherwise it is $69.99. And let's, I don't think you can use it without the membership. Yeah, so you need the membership for the app, but like you said, there's no interface. So without the app, you can't see your results. So in essence, yes, you do have to pay that seven. Yeah. I don't know why they're doing this. I, I'm hoping it's to do like ongoing research, but I mean, it's already expensive. Okay, so let's compare the Apple Watch, the Aurora Ring, Fitbit, and, and we'll talk, talk about Whoop. I haven't had a Fitbit in several years because once I went to Apple Watch, I got everything I needed. I personally don't like Fitbits. Now the technology is getting better, but there's two ways about it. Their kind of main thing is steps, which is really good. I think that's a really great foundational thing for everyone to do is just get you moving more, just being conscious of your steps, especially when so much of us have sedentary jobs. The problem, and even with me, is with Fitbits, is then that that's all it worries about, and then I'm like hyper-focused on my steps, even when I've had a really active day. Also, because I'm a tech nerd, I think I will always keep an Apple Watch, not because necessarily the activity trackers, but I'm just an Apple loyalist. Honestly, it just makes you live like feel like I'm already in the metaverse. So I kind of hate it, but you know, I love my Apple Watch mainly because this. We'll say it time and time again. This is why everyone needs an Apple Watch. Where's my phone? I don't know. Dun dun dun! I lost my phone. Where did it go? It. I mean, for an idiot like myself, I, I would have lost so many more iPhones. But then comparing these two. I find this one is an activity tracker, this is a recovery tracker, that's the best way. If I had to pick one, I'm gonna pick the Aurora Ring because I think it's so much more important to focus on my sleep because that's really hard to know. When I go to sleep, I don't know how good my sleep was. I kind of have an idea when I wake up, but it's a really good way to keep me accountable because I feel in the hustle culture we have, it's very easy to just push sleep aside and be like, Gary V, grind, four hours. Especially with an Apple Watch, which is like, move goal, increase move goal, da 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 This is the first activity tracker where it's like, are you recovering? Like that's also what I don't like about Apple Watch is every single day, your move goal is the same. It doesn't account for rest days. Aurora Ring's quite the opposite. If you're 
sleep has been off, if your recovery is off, it will move back your move goal for you, which I like. Now the whoop strap, which we can talk about, does combine the two. So it has the recovery component, but it's also tracking your workouts. Why don't I use that instead of these two? Because I think the whoop strap's ugly. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I like the interface of the Apple Watch. There's no interface on whoop. I don't want to wear like that band. It'd be nice if I was just working out, I guess took it out, but I like that I can not think about taking this out when I'm just like casually going about my day. Like I'll take this off when I go to the bar, but I like that I can just always have this on. So that's how to think of them all. Fitbit, yes, it tracks your sleep and recovery and all that, but it's very like step focused. We all know what an Apple Watch is. Your Aurora Ring is your recovery and the Whoop Strap is kind of a combo of all of that, but it's really like performance. This is pretty, not to sell you on it, um, but that's just my thoughts. A lot of questions. How accurate are the calories? I don't know. And I think that's a big thing that I don't like about activity trackers is just people become too hyper-focused on the calories. And that's why if you're someone who becomes hyper-focused on it, it actually might be a bit better than the Apple Watch because there's a lot less focus on calories, which I really like. So that might be better for you, but it's still gonna show you your calories, your steps and all that. So if you're someone who becomes hyper-focused and has your whole day surround around it, I would say this might not necessarily be the best thing. You really have to know that about yourself. I do think it is the best out of all of them in that mindset, but they're not 100% accurate. I like, I'll use myself as an example. I feel a lot of times in workouts, especially like on Apple Watches, it under tracks my calories for me because I have a low resting heart rate and so much of this off heart rate. So I can like kill myself and know I burned high hundreds of calories and sometimes it won't show and it will show I just burned like 100, 200 calories an hour. It's because my heart rate doesn't get as high. On the flip side, we've seen it in the reverse. Sometimes if I were to put on a HIIT workout on my Apple Watch, but then just go for a walk, it's gonna shoot my calories through the roof and it's gonna say I burned a thousand calories when I burned a hundred, like that's exaggeration. But these aren't that accurate. I find the Apple Watch and the Aurora Ring are pretty similar in terms of calorie expenditure, give or take within a hundred to 200 calorie variance every day. Don't be so hard set on it because they are getting more accurate, but we'll never know unless you have like your oxygen measured. So. My final thoughts, is it the worth of the price? I think so, because I think it's the most accurate thing out there from my research to track your sleep at home, especially how tiny it is, how much you get. Compare it to the Apple Watch, everything else, I think it is the best out of them all. I love the idea that it's focusing on recovery. We all know if we're moving a lot or not in the day. We don't need more notifications. This is no notifications. It's about getting proper sleep, proper recovery, which we all know is the foundation to everything. Is weight loss your goal? You have to sleep better. Is performance, sports performance your goal? You have to sleep better. Just have a very creative job. If you have a very, very mentally demanding job. You need proper sleep. We all need proper sleep. And what do we not get? Proper sleep because we're staring at our phones. This gamifies sleep, which I think is so important. That is why Apple Watches work and that is just that gamification. And I don't take it too much to heart. I think that's where it can get bad. If you're like, oh, I had a bad sleep, my days are ruined. It's just more, I'm like, yes, look at my rent. And that is so nerdy to me, but I love it. I think it's worth it. But at the same time, being in tune with your body is free. There's a lot of other resources, just making sure to lay in bed for eight hours, be off your phone before bed, you know, having a nighttime routine, just doing those things to make sure you get quality sleep is more important if you can't afford this. If you do have the income for it and you're thinking of purchasing an activity tracker, it is my recommendation over the other ones, but that's just me. After two years, I love it. I continue to use the product. So let me know down in the comments any other activity trackers, fitness technology you guys would like me to review and try out. And I'd be more than happy to do that in a future video. And most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.